In today's video, we're taking a look at how to install a glass or cup a rinser, easy and simple. This is so easy, anyone could do. Everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. That does help us out a lot, thank you. So you woke up today and took a look at the DIY list. You noticed that cup rinser is on the menu and it seems your spouse, partner, friend, or family member saw a TikTok video on how to make the dishwashing process a lot quicker. Don't worry, here at the Statterbox team, we help you take off things from the DIY list and not add them. We've got at your back. This particular model goes for under $40. We'll leave a link on the description, but they can go all the way up to $100. So no matter which glass rinser you pick, the technique is going to be the same. And on the box, the first thing that we're going to get is our mounting shank. And no, not that kind of shank. Next, we have the glass rinser catcher diverter. Next, we have the T adapter. This is what's going to let you connect the provided holes on the kit and your existing water line. Next, Next, according to the manufacturer, this is called the ABS chassis. So it's great to know we went from plumbing to cars. Next, we have the water line hose and the measurements for this particular kit is 3 8 If you wanna connect any different sizes, then you're gonna need an adapter. But this may be standard for many. And lastly, we have the owner's manual or how we like to say in the Statabox team, barbecue paper. We usually throw these away or use them for barbecue, but in this case, you might need it. So we'll keep it. Now that we filled your brain with data, we're ready to start the installation process. So the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna take our shank and remove the nut, the o-ring, and the washer. The next thing that you want to do is make sure you're installing this in your home. Now that you located your home, you want to locate the kitchen sink. Now that you got the hard part out the way, we're ready to locate the kitchen sink hole, usually located either to the left or to the right of your kitchen faucet. If you don't have one, in this case, you may need to drill one. Now that you located all the above, we're ready to contort our body in pretzel yoga position. We're going to go in side the dark side under the sink and follow the whole cover until we find the nut that holds it down. In some cases it might have silicone and you might have to use a putty knife or a knife to remove the silicone and then remove the nut. Always remember the ancient rule of lefty loosey righty tighty. Always remember to save all the parts in case anything goes south or north or just run away and tell your spouse, partner, friend, or family member it's done. It'll be too late when they'll notice. Once we remove the whole cover nut, we're ready to remove the whole cover. Next, we're ready to bring our water diverter catcher and shank and install it in the hole. We want to place the, the water catcher first and then the shank on top. And even though this went rated R, quick, you can handle this. You got this. We believe in you, grasshopper. And this is the most important part of the whole video. You want to make sure that the water catcher diverter is pointing correctly because the last thing you want is the water to be spilling anywhere but the sink and then your loved one partner or associate family member or friend giving you that look like you done it Sherlock again now you're ready to take a deep breath be ready you're going to the dark side we're gonna make sure that we place the o-ring first then the washer and lastly the nut we're gonna go ahead and screw that in until we have a tight fit and remember usually righty tighty lefty loosey and now comes what many would say is the important part of the whole video. But in our world, we like to go on the wild side. A little adventure now and then comes in good. We're gonna make sure that we shut off the water to our faucet. We double check by opening the faucet both to cold and hot, making sure that no water passes through. We're gonna go ahead and remove the water line that we like to use for the installation. In this case, we're using the cold water. In your case, you might choose the hot water. No matter which of the lines you use, you are the king, queen, both or none of your castle. Just don't let the neighbors know, don't let your spouse know, your significant other, your family members, your friends, you should be good to go. Having a bucket and a rag close by or under the sink goes a long way. Now that 
that you feel that the dark side is taking over, don't worry. Take a deep breath because we're staying down here for a bit longer. So meanwhile you feel your bones crack and crumble, we're ready to install the T adapter. We're gonna start it off by hand and then tightening using a wrench, ratchet, some pliers, your beautiful strong arms. No matter what tool you use, we know you're the real asset. Once we finish tightening the T, we wanna make sure that it's pointing to the best position possible. Now we're gonna go ahead and install on the top the original water line to the faucet. We're gonna use the same technique starting by hand and then finishing off with your preferred tool. And we know that means you. No, and we don't mean that one. We mean the one in the toolbox. Now we're ready to take our water line hose provided on the kit and install it on the front connection using the same technique as before starting off with your hands and then ending. We're not even gonna say it at this point. That's why we believe in you. You finish our sentences before we do. In some cases, you can use plumber's tape. If you notice any leaks afterwards, adding plumbing tape goes a long way. An extra tightening also does. Remember always never to over tighten because you don't wanna break the seal or the grooves in any of the hoses, connections, or adapters. Now that you leveled up to Saiyajin power and you wanna get out of here, now we need you to contort a little bit more and take the other end of the water line hose and connect it to the shank adapter ending on the bottom. And remember, even though that your body's in pain right now, starting with your hands and ending with a wrench pliers, or you get the idea now. And remember, you don't want to over tighten. Once you feel it tight, it should be good enough. And now you've done it, Grasshopper. You survive. We can go back to the light and install our final part. And that is the ABS chassis, according to the manufacturer's name selection. And even even though Watson went to the garage now, we'll leave him there. We'll wait here until Watson comes back. Always remember a pro tip, having a Watson to help you out goes a long way. And now comes the moment of truth. We're ready to open the water lines and marble your work. If you don't have any leaks and don't have to shut off the water supply again, you can pat yourself on the back for a job well done. You leveled up to a water supplier, giving out water to the world. Water in the faucet, water for the glasses, you're the best. Don't forget, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, that really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Either someone on the Statabox team or someone on the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching, and here's a link to our latest video.